Reggio Emilia riparte dalla Grecia. Il nuovo coach dei biancorossi è pronto ad aprire un nuovo capitolo della sua vita dopo l'esperienza in Russia, Turchia e appunto Grecia. Io sono Alessandra Tropiano e questo è Nice to Meet con Dimitris Priftis. Per costruire un nuovo progetto bisogna basarsi su solide basi, ma anche su volti conosciuti. Claudio Coldebella, GM della pallacanestro reggiana, in passato aveva già avuto l'esperienza di lavorare proprio con Coach Priftis in Russia. So today I'm in Reggio Emilia with the new coach Dimitris Piftis. Nice to meet you, coach. Nice to meet you, piacere. How are you doing? I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> I want to hear from you the first impression about being in Italy, in a new country, also with a new team. Uh, it's, it's a country very close to my country. Mm -hmm. uh, mostly the, the culture and the style of living, uh, uh, like in Greece. Uh, it's a nice place, uh, Reggio Emilia, very peaceful. Uh, I'm really glad for, for the team, uh, the people of the team, uh, the way we cooperate. Mm -hmm. So everything uh, looks good at the moment. Okay, so Italian fans don't know you already. Uh, does exist a Prifti style? Can you explain us your game? Prifti style of uh, yeah. playing? Yeah, of course, okay. you're playing. Okay. Uh, look, uh, the style mm. depends on, uh, on the material mm -hmm. that uh, we have. Uh, we try to do the best possible things uh, on the court uh, in order to get the best uh, possible results. Uh, we created uh, one, uh, one uh, team according to our abilities, uh, according to our budget. Uh, we had a good first step of this long trip, uh, but still uh, not, uh, not enough to have conclusions or to say more things. It's a long way and a long trip in front of us, so we must be conservative and to, to keep uh, the ball low. Okay, okay, that's important. <laughs> so we're really at the start, but I want to ask you uh, in what the Italian Championship could be more tough, more challenging for you? Uh, you mean like an opponent or...? A... Yeah. Uh, I would say the whole league is a, is a new league for me mm -hmm. and uh, of course a very competitive league. I, I had the chance to recognize this uh, even from the friendly games in the preseason. So I believe it's going to be very tough and very, mm -hmm. very difficult in the, until the end. Uh, all opponents uh, they have a good roster. I, I felt uh, the value and the, uh, the knowledge of uh, the coaches here as well. So mm -hmm. I believe uh, overall it's going to be a, a hard experience for me and of course very interesting. Okay. So every game is a challenge and every game is... Yeah, a, like every game matter here. Of course, of course. I know you already worked with Claudio Codebella and with Jamar Smith. Can you tell us more about that experience in Russia? Well, Russia is a different country comparing with uh, our countries in the Mediterranean uh, area, but uh, Uh, I had a very good uh, relationship and very good cooperation with both of them. Uh, Claudio is one person that I really trust and uh, we, you know, living in Russia is like uh, we live together like three, mm -hmm. four years with Claudio, three years with uh, Jamar, almost four years, not almost, four years, mm -hmm. completely okay. four years. <laughs> and uh, this period of time, you, you can make it double if you consider the way of uh, the style of living okay. in Russia, it's really different. So uh, we spend a lot of time together. I really trust uh, Claudio when he called me to tell me about the option mm -hmm. of, uh, of Reggio. Uh, he explained me about the people here, about the structure, about the vision. So sounds very attractive and uh, him was one very important reason that uh, mm -hmm. I, I made this decision and also I'm very glad that I met again uh, my captain in Russia, you know, because Zamar mm -hmm. Smith is something unique that in Russia only in Czeska Kyle Heinz mm -hmm. was the captain okay. of the team and Zamar was like, not like, he was the captain of the team yeah. the last three years in uh, Kazan, which is not very, uh, I mean, common. Mm -hmm. uh, he's a good player. Uh, I consider him like a doctor here. Okay, why? Wherever uh, there is a problem, wherever is <laughs> something that it. needs something, you know, to be fixed uh, before me, he, he is there and f for me it's like a bless to have him uh, in my squad. So here in Reggio you are starting a new chapter. What are the positive but also the negative things of starting a new project like from zero? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, 
That's a very interesting question and it's also part of our life uh, mm -hmm. in, uh, in basketball. Not only like coaches, but also players. Uh, being a member of a new project, it's again yeah. one start from zero. So the positive is this uh, element of challenge. Uh, how to convince, how to explain and mm -hmm. how to put uh, people from different countries, uh, different cultures, different backgrounds yeah. uh, to think, live and uh, act the same way. Uh, it's very, very interesting in our business and at the same time in our job and at the same time it's, uh, it's, it's really difficult yeah. because you have to do with characters and uh, different people. Uh, at the same time, this is also the negative that you, yeah. you, I felt that in teams that I've been some years, uh, that you have a different reference point mm -hmm. the second year with same okay. players. And for sure, different reference point the third year. So okay. it's, it's uh, this common, uh, common uh, time with same people gives you one good base to, to have further uh, progress in your job. So those two, I can say, like a uh, like main idea of okay. your question. Okay, and if we have to set a goal for the end of the season, uh, what will be what you want from your players? You make one very common question, that like a journalist. Easy, a very easy. <laughs> yeah, but I will say the same, uh, you know, like all coaches says. <laughs> Look, it, it is, I would say, like it's, it's a long trip, like mm -hmm. 100 steps, and we have made so far like five, four, five yeah. steps. So it's, it's, a, it's a, we are in the very early stage mm -hmm. of this long trip. Uh, so it is not wise and not realistic to tell you mm -hmm. that uh, our goal is this or that. Yeah. To me, one realistic goal is to say right now, in this moment, that we need to secure and feel safe as soon as possible, if it's possible, uh, about the staying of Reggio Emilia in the Lega. Uh, this is the main goal. After so some games, like 10 games or maybe at the end of the first mm -hmm. round, we, we can have a better uh, Vision. conclusion of what is going on so we can say something more that we yes we look uh, we look at something but this something has to look at us so to meet those those eyes so at, the, at this moment okay. we cannot say more for sure to play every day better to improve ourselves we, we try to build our chemistry not only on the court how we cooperate but mm -hmm. also how we communicate like people to know each other our relationship, all these things are in the very early stage. Okay, so we'll see for now. Thank you so much, Coach. <laughs>